Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I have recently joined at OBS CS1 in their Noida office. If you want to reach out to me on LinkedIn, the link is here. In this video, I will be talking about my interview experience with Adobe and specifically to computer scientist one, how the process was, what was expected from CS1 interview. Please watch the video till the end. In the end, I will be sharing how I prepared and how you can prepare if you are looking out for a change. So how it started, recruiter from Adobe contacted me on LinkedIn. And at that particular time, I was actually looking for job opportunities in Delhi and CR. As job location of my previous company was Hyderabad, and I was not looking out for moving to a different city after work from home. And so that was my need for a job switch at that time. But the first round was scheduled within five days after I shared my resume with the recruiter. And I had my first and second round on the same day. Then third round was within the next five days after my first round. And I had my hiring manager round right after round three. So the round from one to four uh, were completed within two weeks of time after I shared my resume. Last round, that was round five. It actually took some time to schedule. It almost took three weeks for the round five to conduct. Then after round five, the process was uh, like recruiter reached out to me that there is a positive feedback and uh, we will look out to give an offer to you. What are your expectations? So it was normal like how it happens whenever a company gives an offer. So there were no negotiation, etc. All those things happen and uh, they were expecting me to join early. So they were uh, ready to even buy out the notice period from my current employer at that time and also they were giving in a good amount of early joining bonus as well. So my complete experience with Adobe was actually smooth but I would recommend if, if a candidate is uh, looking to apply for Adobe please take this in mind that it takes some time for uh, Adobe to complete the whole process and actually follow up with the recruiter so that the process is completed as early as it's possible. I will talk about how many rounds and what all expertise were expected in the rounds. So round one was based on data structures and algorithms. Two questions were asked. You had to implement both the questions. Round two was based on, again, data structures and algorithms. Then in round three and four, I had HLD and LLD rounds. Round three was conducted by senior computer scientist and round four was a hiring manager round. Round three had one LLD problem as well. I was expected to list out the classes and the interaction diagram between them. One more thing, so they were also asking questions from the projects that were listed on the resume, what role I played and what complexity of task I have done. So that was because they wanted to know how complex a uh, project I have done and uh, what scale of problem I have uh, dealt with. And also they were keen to understand which point uh, you took a technology choice and why you uh, did that. So there were questions around that also. So I would recommend if you are thorough with the projects that you have done in your role, then I think that won't be a problem if you have actually done good projects. So that is one. Second is there were questions around the known functional requirements of system design and then there was system design. They were also asking questions at every point, like if I'm saying that I am taking a SQS. So there were questions around like why not SNS, why not Kafka or any stream processing system. So you should be thorough with your technology choice at what point what you are choosing and why you are doing that and you should be able to give justification for that. Then round five was the director round. So again, there were questions around the complexity of projects that I have done and that were present in the resume. Also, they were uh, keen to understand my contribution in the team, my contribution in the projects. Again, there were questions around uh, system design. I was asked a question about designing automated high scale system. So it was that when later I found that uh, it will be the project that I will be working on. This I have experienced in uh, giving multiple interviews. So like they try to ask questions from a little part of a system that they are actually building. Yeah, that was uh, a new problem to me, but I will cover how I was able to uh, like answer those questions. So now we'll talk what was the level of the interview. So I have given interview in some companies and the level of the interview in Adobe I felt was a moderate to high. Yes, uh, if you are applying for computer scientist one, then the core thing that they were uh, focusing on in round three, four and five was system design. 
good level of system design i would say so now i will be sharing how i prepared for these interviews for dsa and algorithm there are a lot of resources out there and guide how you can prepare on that so i'm not going to talk about that i will specifically talk about system design interview for system design i referred the book system design interview by alexo and also i watched some youtube videos on system design interview channel i will link these resources in the description box below and for lld i referred to the educated.io and groking a uh, course on low level design also uh, i would say uh, what thing helped me more than all these resources was my experience in my last company the projects that i did there so in the sense like uh, as i said in a uh, director round i was asked about high scalable automotive system that the problem demanded me to design so that kind of uh, problem i have not actually looked before as in i have not faced that problem and uh, like i didn't read it on any of the resources that i told you but i was able to answer that question or like design a system in that particular interview was because i had worked on such a problem and i had something in mind i was able to like uh, give hints and i was able to give answers and like I, in the end i was able to design a system and uh, he was happy with that one more thing in system design interview it's not possible to actually write everything out or actually design everything out i will give an example if i'm designing a entry point to my system so i will design the entry point but i have to tell the interviewer that i will put a load balancer in front of this entry point i will put a firewall in front of this so that it will have this 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 benefits so you have to be proactive and it won't happen like interviewer will ask will you put anything in front of your entry point no i think they might ask but it is a good point if you are giving points even before they are asking for it it gives a good impression so you have to be talkative you have to share your knowledge you have to share your thoughts what you are thinking how you want to improvise on your design you can even ask them is there any limitation i have to consider etc like it is it it is more of an interactive session between you and the interviewer and uh, you both uh, lead to designing a system so how i deal with in system design interviews in system design i i don't take it as a interviewer that is asking me questions i uh, think it as i am designing a system with my teammate it actually uh, makes me to think in terms of uh, like what questions we will be thinking upon and pondering and asking them questions etc yeah so this was my interview experience i had a wonderful experience with adobe and also i have joined adobe and i am enjoying it there so if you want to reach out to me you can do so on linkedin the link will be in the description box below and also here also feel free to ask questions in the comment section if you have any doubts i will try to answer those or make a video on it thank you for watching also please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and share the video see you in the next week till then keep hustling keep trying Don't be afraid of failures failures do come and we will come out of them stronger thank you bye bye